this is Vanessa with a bit of beast.com. And when I read your replies to my November recording for deep breathing, I was really overwhelmed by how many of you said you were having trouble sleeping at night. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. My heart really went out to you because this is something that I have struggled with tremendously. And I reached a point in my healing journey where I finally decided I don't care how weird it is or how hocus pocus it sounds, I'm going to try absolutely anything. What I want to tell you about today are three things that sound absolutely weird and hocus pocus but have really made a difference for me. There are lots of articles online for good sleep habits and those are great and that's definitely something to start with. But if you're struggling even though you've tried all of those things, I think it's worth trying with the things that I'm going to talk about today. Our first subject today is tapping. Now first let me give you a disclaimer. I am not a certified tapping coach. Everything I've learned, I've learned from watching online videos or interviews, especially from the tappingsolution.com. And they don't pay me any kind of endorsement for telling you about this. I'm just telling you about it because it's made such a huge difference in my life. What is tapping? Tapping combines pushing on acupressure points, just like it's done in Chinese acupuncture or acupressure, and talking about what's going on inside, and that helps release whatever is blocking us. So in my example, I'm going to be talking about how anxiety and pain were keeping me from sleeping. You can use this for anything uh, that comes up for you. And let me tell you that there are no wrong, wrong ways of doing this. You can't mess it up. So if you get a little lost by, by all the different spots that I'm tapping on, it's fine if you want to just pick one and just tap on that one area. It'll work for you. What this does is it helps us to go from the flight or fight, fight or flight stress response into the relaxation response. And tapping on these acupuncture meridians helps to release endorphins, which relaxes our bodies and helps um, decrease pain. It helps whatever is causing us um, some sort of emotional upset to um, be able to handle it better and calm down the intense feelings that we feel. And really, we begin to just release it and start to enter a place of peace. All right, are you curious yet? Well, first let me tell you about the diff different tapping points. Um, the first one that I use is the karate chop point on the side of your hand. And then we go just inside the eyebrow line. And then just outside the eyebrow line near the temples, under the eyes, just to the either side of the nostrils, the chin, just below your collarbone, the ribs, which for women is just about at the bra line, for men just about where the breast is, but underneath your arm, and then the top of your head and the center of your head. You can use both hands, you can use one hand, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I've even been driving, and if I feel anxious about something I'm going to do while I'm driving, I'll just tap like this under one eye. And that's all it takes to help me get through that, um, that moment. So what we really want to do is to identify what feelings we are feeling. And we're not trying to get rid of our feelings, we're really trying to process and go into that feeling so that we can eventually let it go. About eight months ago, I realized that I was caught up in a cycle where I was in pain when I'd try to go to sleep, and so I'd be frustrated because I couldn't get to sleep, and then I'd wake up in the morning, sometimes very early, way before it was really morning, and I'd be in pain and I couldn't go back to sleep, and then I was really frustrated about that. And then at night, when it would be time to go to bed, I would feel really anxious because I was anxious that I wouldn't be able to fall asleep and anxious that I would wake up in the morning and not be able to get back to sleep. And I was in a cycle of pain, anxiety, pain, anxiety, frustration, and then fatigue all through the day, feeling so tired during the daytime, but dreading bedtime because I was afraid I wouldn't sleep well. 
So one night I had heard about tapping and I tried this and as unrealistic as it sounds, literally that first night I slept so much better. And so let me walk you through what I did and if you want to tap along with me. All right, first I, I identified my feelings of anxiety. And start by tapping on the karate chop point on the hand. So I like to close my eyes when I do it so I just really kind of get into the feeling. So even though I feel so anxious about going to sleep tonight that I feel like I won't be able to sleep because of pain and I'm afraid I'm going to wake up in pain, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I've had this pain for so long and I'm so frustrated by interrupting my sleep, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm so anxious that I'm going to wake up in the morning in pain and not be able to go back to sleep, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Moving to the eyebrow. I feel so frustrated that I haven't been able to sleep well at night. To the side of the eye. I'm just so anxious that I won't be able to get to sleep tonight. Under the eye, I'm so anxious that when I wake up in the morning, I'll be waking up in pain and it won't be time to get up and I won't be able to go back to sleep. Beside the nose, I've been dealing with this for so long and I'm just so frustrated and so tired of it. Under the chin, I just feel really anxious about it. I'm so anxious about it that I just don't think I'll be able to go to sleep tonight. Under the arm, I'm so afraid that I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning in pain and not be able to get back to sleep. On the top of the head, I'm just so anxious about not sleeping well. I know it's ridiculous that I feel so much fear about going to sleep and then waking up in pain. I know this has just been frustrating me for so long and it seems so unreasonable. But it doesn't matter what I try to do. I just can't relax. I just can't seem to let go of this anxiety. I just can't seem to let go of the fear that I'm going to wake up in pain. I'm just so exhausted and I'm so tired and I really need a good night's sleep. But I'm just really afraid that I'm not going to be able to sleep well tonight. I'm really afraid that I'm not going to be able to Sleep, get to sleep and that when I do fall asleep I'm just going to wake up because I'll be in pain. I'm so tired of feeling this fear. I'm so tired of feeling this anxious. I'm so tired of not being able to sleep. I wonder what could happen to me if I could let go of this anxiety. What would happen if the anxiety was just gone? What would happen if I just didn't feel afraid of waking up in pain? What if I could just let go of anxiety and lay down and feel like I'm ready to rest? What would that be like? It's hard to even imagine what it would be like to feel rested in the morning when I wake up. I'm really ready to let go of this fear and let go of this anxiety. I'm really ready to let go of the anxiety, but I'm really afraid that I can't. I don't even know how to. I want to let go of this anxiety. I want to let go of this fear. I want to let go of how anxious I feel. I think what would be wonderful is if instead of feeling anxious, I lay down tonight and my bed feels comfortable. And the sheets feel soft and my body can just relax. That would be really wonderful. <laughs> it would just be so wonderful if I wake up during the night, I just turn over, find a comfortable spot and go right back to sleep. That's exactly what I really want. I'm going to let go of my anxiety right now. I'm letting go of this fear and instead when I lay down I'm going to feel like I can relax. I'll feel like I can rest and if anything wakes me up during the night I'll just find a comfortable spot and go right back to sleep. 
I'll sleep really deeply, really restfully. My body can heal when it's resting like that. I feel so much better now. I'm going to go lay down and rest. And if anything wakes me up, I'll find a comfortable spot and go right back to sleep. And when it's time for me to get up tomorrow morning, I'll feel rested and I'll feel like I can face the day. That may look weird, and you may feel really odd the first time you try it. I know I did, but I was so desperate. I was really ready to try anything, and what I couldn't believe was how it really did work. The second thing I want to tell you about today is a recording called Audio Serenity, made by the company iAwake Technologies, and they are not paying me to tell you about this. It's just been so beneficial for me that I really thought it was important to tell you. This kind of technology records um, files that you can listen to from your computer. Uh, you can put them on your mobile phone. I usually have it on my iPhone and plug in headphones and listen to it going to sleep at night or um, it's great when you're traveling as well. But these recordings have embedded in them technology that helps to pull our brain into um, relaxed states relaxed states that people who are very experienced meditation practitioners like monks get into. And I won't go into the scientific details of alpha, delta, theta brain waves, but in the early stages of sleep, we're in theta sleep and deep sleep is delta sleep. And this technology can actually help pull your brain into that state. And uh, there's several things that are useful about this. One is it helps you to relax so that you can fall into a much deeper, more peaceful sleep. But what I also learned from a book by Dr. Joe Dispenza is that when our brains are in theta, which is the state that we're in right before we fall asleep, it's that state that's kind of between wakefulness and sleeping, our brains are really open to suggestion. So I started telling myself that I was going to hypnotize myself so that I would be able to sleep really well at night. So when I'm listening to these recordings, I start to, to say messages that I want my brain to communicate to my body, like, I'm going to rest really deeply tonight. My brain is entering a deep state of sleep. My body can heal while I sleep. And most importantly, this one I love that we talked about with tapping is, if anything should awaken me tonight, I will find a comfortable spot and go right back to sleep. And I have to tell you, it has worked amazingly well because we have pets, my husband gets up very early in the morning to go to work, and I managed to sleep through a lot, which I have never been able to do in my life, not to mention since I'm dealing with a lot of joint pain. So I highly recommend Audio Serenity. It's a 60 minute long recording of very peaceful music um, and it's really relaxing to listen to. I couldn't believe it when I first heard it. I honestly was very skeptical when I read about it and I thought it was a little bit cuckoo, but when I listened to it I was amazed at how relaxed I felt and I really did feel decreased pain listening to it, which is so wonderful. If you can't afford the full Audio Serenity recording, um, iAwake has a free 20-minute demo on their website, and it is worth downloading that and getting the demo, because that will work for you, too. Um, I love the Audio Serenity, but if you can't pay for it, definitely get the free demo. The third and final thing I want to mention to you today is called Qigong. What is Qigong? Qigong is a traditional Chinese practice of very gentle physical movements and deep breathing techniques. And yesterday when I was thinking about what to talk about on a video for sleep, I realized that over the last couple of weeks, I haven't been listening to the audios to get to sleep anymore. I am falling asleep easily and I'm sleeping really deeply. And I really think that some of that is due to the Qigong. It, and if you want to learn Qigong from Master Lin and purchase his DVDs, I'll have a link below this video.